Welcome back. So Paul McKenzie and his wife will remain in police custody for another six days pending the determination of their bail application. Mackenzie and 17 um, others associated with the Shakahola massacre will know their fate on Wednesday next week. This after both sides, the prosecution and the defense made their submissions. A coast base reporter to Bas Chanji with the details. Paul Mackenzie, his wife and 16 others will spend the weekend in custody pending their bail ruling. On 10th May 2023, the prosecution had asked the court to detain the suspects for 90 days to allow them continue with the investigations. <laughs> the court, however, through Principal Magistrate Yusuf Shikanda, granted 30 days, adding that extra days might be given if they will submit a report on the status of investigations. And on Friday noon, the state submitted another prayer of asking that the 18 be remanded for an extra 60 days. They argued through an affidavit that as it is, the practice in cases of terrorism, a suspect can be held for a maximum 360 days. If at all, they can point out that specific part of the law that would have required for us to file a motion, then the next question would be, is it due? Is it, should, is it really important? or not. The prayers were rebutted by the defendant's lawyers who argued that their clients should be released on bail pending determination as they also need more time to go through submissions by the state. Its rule and the orders that it made. Yes. And we are simply saying that as per what was there, if they are saying this affidavit is a report as per paragraph H. Yes, I understand. And after joining the session two times, the principal magistrate ruled that he will give the verdict on Wednesday next week. Having been served with the documents today, it is only fair that the respondents be given time to respond. I will proceed to grant them time as they will propose. Since the respondents have been in custody and there is an application for extension of their continued detention, I find it illogical to order for their release pending the filing of their responses to the application. For avoidance of doubt, the respondents shall remain in custody pending the filing of their responses. That is the ruling of the court. Tobias Shanji, KT News, Mombasa County. So now the James Orengo's county government wants the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission to